Alright, Ryan, you should have ended up with brown sand on the mattress. You should have never been born. I can't be that mean. But Ryan, I'm happy you lost to Kyle. It's it, it makes me feel good. <laughs> fantasy team shit. I'm hating, I'm absolutely hating on the Chargers right now. I'm regretting every little bit of it. I mean, Matt Schell got 33 points and Phil Rivers got three. It's absolutely horrible and a disgrace. And Hunter, as in for eating the donuts, that was extremely gay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that ammo. Now we have a bunch of ammo on you. Thank you. I feel like we're getting strong armed, dude. Oh, we definitely are. The rest of the league, they're, they're making trades. They're working behind our back. That was motherfucker. I'm sitting at one and one. I should be like six and zero oh by now through the first two. Games. Six and zero, oh, boss. Six and zero, oh, motherfucker, boss. So we're gonna get a little organization together. Yeah. And we're gonna make sure we don't get strong. I like that. All right? You understand? And all the people at home. They're gonna know the fantasy football mafia. They're gonna know it. Dude, that trophy's going on with me. It's going on with you, boss. There's a, nice, there's a nice spot in second place for you. So with that nice spot in second place, yeah. comes the closest anybody's gonna get to that trophy. So you gonna work with me. I need guys like you to work for me. Gonna f up. Gonna f up. Hey, you got a job. Got a job. shouldn't be here right now, but I, 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 I've come here to ask you a question. What is it that you want? I have come for running back. I've come for LaShawn McCoy. Would you trade him to me? You come to me on this the day of Tim Tebow's wedding. To ask of me questions such as this. For me to give you LaShawn McCoy. What the f what the f do you think you're doing making this f trade? Uh, what the f uh, What are you thinking? You a f with a doll like that? You motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, get up. Hurry up. Tell you what, we're gonna let Donovan decide whether you can get the shot in the corner. Donovan, should Harris get the shot in the Donovan says no. You get out of here, you mother. Not necessary questions. He's out of here, boss. Did I tell you this from No, you didn't, boss. No, you didn't. Did I tell you to do things that you were told to do? I thought it was already. Did Dom tell you to throw air out of my office? No, sir. No, Dom. Mac! Yes, sir, boss. Get in here, you little weasel, you motherfucker! You get over there! It's supposed to be my job. I'm sorry, Don. Don Levin. Donovan? Had an idea.
<laughs> I got a text from Scott Sunday. Dirty. That reminds me. He pays homage to rap sensation K Nasty in his fantasy football team name, Team K Nasty. I could only use this one line in response. Yeah, I'm about to shut it down, what you gonna do about it? I'm about to shut it down, what you gonna do about it? I'm about to shut it down, what you gonna do about it? I'm about to shut it down, what you gonna do about it? Shut it, shut it down. The first trade of the season took place over the week as Scott received Jordy Nelson and Sean Green from Eric in exchange for Kenny Britt and Doug Martin. Eric got exactly what he wanted from last week, more black people. Unfortunately, our friendly neighborhood guitarist lost and his two new acquisitions tallied a mere 12 points combined. On the other side of the ball, Scott also lost as Jordy Nelson and Sean Green scored a pathetic and putrid five points combined. Alongside Scott and Eric in the losing column were Max, Zach, and Ryan. Yeah, his, his, his career is mad. Go ahead, Kyle. Yeah, his, his mic work is top notch. Well, what? I mean, he, he so, be Kyle, you're 2-0. and oh. Yep. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. In our spotlight of the week, Kyle must be feeling even better after another impressive win. Kyle's last round draft pick in Kyle Rudolph paid major dividends in his third straight win to start the season. Props also go out to Kyle for starting the Chicago Bears defense and special teams. The Bears D put up 31 points this week, the highest point total of any defense and special teams unit this whole season. For Ryan, the risk of starting Hakeem Nix as a game-time decision on Thursday night backfired as he ended up inactive and scoring zero points. Frank Gore also had a season low with four points after a projected nine. Meanwhile, in an extremely low-scoring affair, Mike edged Max 62-52. to 52. Mike Danger Zone Masseri won, even though he benched stellar performances by Jamal Charles, who scored 34, and Ben Roethlisberger, who put up 39, all for none. Max's team totally fudged their huggies, as he had only one player score in double digits. Dan found success in RG3 and MJD. Robert Griffin III and Maurice Jones drew in a 33-point drubbing of Zach's disturbing donuts. Zach is still trying to find his first win, and it won't be easy this week as he takes on undefeated Kyle's frolicking kamikazes. Now, let's take a long gander at the group tables. Through the first three weeks of the Lighthouse Lugnuts fantasy football season, the standings are as so. Kyle Jesus McKeon, yes, the guy who could not remember who he drafted first overall, is teaching the rest of the league how to Dougie. He is instructing everyone else how to Douglas, as he is at the top of the food chain at 3-0. Also undefeated is last year's runner-up, Hunter, aka Gunman Phillips, who's averaging 118 points per game. The only other teams over 500 are Mike and Aris. The rest of the league is a straight-up clusterfuck.